Hi everyone, welcome to the Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jade and today we're talking underskirts but more importantly underskirts for A-line dresses. So this might be a couple of reasons you think about wearing an underskirt, you want the dress bigger, you want to get the layer of the dress already off your feet. So we're going to have a look at hoops and the number of petticoats in the skirt to show you the difference of this dress. So this dress at the moment we chose because A, we love it. I mean, yes, hello! <laughs> <laughs> we love this dress, but actually it's a good dress to choose because it's already quite light. I'll show you underneath, so if you hold that yep. day. So already you've got, basically you've just got one layer. So this isn't going to do anything, this is just for a lining really. So you've just got the one layer and then you've got the skirt. So your options are, is you if you want it to be completely floaty, you can take that out yep. and not having it at all. Or, obviously, this is the skirt at the moment. So do you want to step down and just show it moving a little bit? Well, right, I'm short ladies, let's remember this. She said, you're going to move around in the dress. And I was like, well, I'm really short, so I'm not sure we had to see. But it's very light. It isn't fully coming out. And I think, you know, as I move, you can see that the way yeah. the, it's kind of sitting on the floor. But obviously, that's more to my height than anything. It's just very swishy, isn't it? Yeah. So if you stand back on there... Oh, get back oh on no, oh, no. But yeah, really swishy. And if this is the look you're going for, then you don't need any underskirts. So the first one we thought we would try is literally just a hoop. Yeah, so there's so no, no layers. No petticoats on this. You have got two hoops. And this, uh, you'll hopefully see the difference of the dress. But as we move through the video, we're going to be introducing less hoops, more petticoats. And have a look actually at the layers of the petticoats on the skirt and what difference that makes with the dress. So we'll try this one. <laughs> <laughs> I scared myself. Why did I get it? <laughs> so here we have ladies, our underskirt with no petticoats on but two hoops. And then you can see, you can already see that it's brought the dress out. Well, and when you're going to walk around, you've got yourself almost like a little bit of um, fresh air, really, where it's not going to be sat on your legs. Fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> that's my ventilation. <laughs> Basically, that's what they are, the ventilation. It's taken off my legs, so yeah. the skirt isn't fit sitting so on got. my legs anymore. There's your skirt, look. So, obviously, when you're walking around, if you don't want to be kicking it and trying to get out of the way, you've got a good little bit of space in there, look. So that's so for you to move around. Ventilation. <laughs> so, so pop that back down. Actually, I think that gives it a bit more... Um, Structure. Structure than I thought it was going yeah. to. Yeah, and I think, you know, oh, luckily this dress we've got on is good quality. Yeah. And it's got its own petticoats, so the petticoats soften the hoop of it. Yeah. So I think it's always really important, if you were considering an underskirt that had no petticoats on it, make sure you've got some petticoats in your dress, because you will only, if I show you... Well, you're going to have, like, you'll, you'll like see a, the hoop. Like a line, look when yeah. you walk. Hang on, there's a petticoat still there. So, look. This is what you're going to get if yeah. you've got a thin and none of this So at think all. about with your dress, if it is a thin dress with no layers to the skirt, you might want to add some layers with your petticoat underskirt, which is what we're going to show Just you Just to soften it a little yeah. bit. So we'll bring the next one out. Right then, so up next we have an underskirt with one hoop and three layers of petticoats. So, hang on, Jen will show you. So you've just got the one hoop there, look, if you can see it. So there's just the one hoop. So a little bit like last time that I had two, but this has got the one. And then you've got three layers. And they're quite, they're the full length. So I would say this is more like a soft A-line. Yeah. This was on a, a skirt, on a dress. So we're going to pop it on and see the difference. The two hoops. No, it's one hoop. One hoop. <laughs> one hoop. I was like, you layers. say it because I'm just going to forget it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are they talking about? I'm just looking at a pretty dress. It's one hoop and three layers. Right then, so we put the underskirt with this one, um, the one hoop, three layers. Now, I said to Jem, I feel like I'm wearing a more of a skirt now. I wasn't sure whether I could tell a difference, but yeah. you said you feel like the skirt feels fuller. Yeah, definitely. I've, it's taken off my legs, um, again, like the other one, um, but I just feel like I've got more of a skirt on me now compared to the last one. Well, you've got now, obviously, you've got your layer of your, your original one, which is your dress. And then you've got, so here it all is, look. So you're adding all this extra than you had before. Yeah. And then obviously you've got the one hoop. Now the one hoop is higher up. So it's more like just above your ankle than it is lower down. So that's something to consider because obviously that's going to take out a little bit more mm. if it's lower down. So yeah, let's have so a little look. I would say it's more for, if you want to gentle. So you don't have to yeah. like suddenly in a huge dress. And as we put more petticoats and hoops on, you will see the difference. But for me, this feels quite a gentle, if you do want to take off your legs, it's still not quite a princess look, is it? No. So if you don't want a princess look and you're just going for a, a more gentle A-line. I would think one hoop, 
and three layers. layers. <laughs> three layers. <laughs> you want less layers and less hoops if you want a gentle look. Yes. Yeah. So ladies, the next one we've got is we've gone up quite a few now. So we've gone to six layers and two hoops. So this should really make a difference from the other ones that you've already seen. So this is getting a bit more of a dramatic look. Yeah, because you're adding the hoop now and an another few layers. Yeah, so you've got all think. these layers, that's the six. And then if you see, that was where your other hoop was on the last one. And now you've got another hoop, which is gonna take it out that little bit more. So let's pop it on. So here we have our next one. So remember this- Skirt got big. It did. <laughs> We've got two hoops and six layers with this underskirt, and I think you can see it's really taken out on, starting to feel very like. And it doesn't move remember. as much, whereas before you had a bit more of that swish still going on, it's tending to hold it in yeah. its place, isn't it? So if you want to see all of the lace pliques a little bit more and they're not getting mixed up, then actually you can see it a bit more, but it's definitely gone to more of a yeah. getting to a princess look, isn't it? I feel very like. Stop it. <laughs> Where's Prince Charming? She see, fell off, so she needs to calm down. <laughs> but I think this one you can see now, we're getting more to the edge of a princess sort of yeah. ball gown look, aren't we? But yeah. this was two hoops with six layers of petticoats in. And what's the next one? The next one is two hoops but with eight layers. Woo! So we're going, you want it bigger. Big. Then up next, we have our final underskirt for an A line Woo! dress. If you, I know. I lift just it just stands in. up on its own. <laughs> So this is two hoops with eight layers of petticoats and I think you can see even by you can't see me anymore behind it. <laughs> Where is she? Here. So this is really gonna take the skirt out and get fuller and um, more and it's not if you think about the original one where it, the layers went straight down, this is obviously ruched here, ruched here. This is more of your princess look, whereas yeah. the other one is your gentle layer line. So it, yes, it does matter on layers, but it also matters what they look like. Yeah. So obviously if you're going for this, it's coming out more, because obviously that's what it's doing. You can see already, that's what the underskirt is doing. So let's have a look, Jade. So oh, I'm in full Cinderella mode now. You shall go to the ball! <laughs> you can see he's really brought the skirt out. Of, you know, this is this is the, the princess look, isn't yeah. it? This is what you want. And if you think back to that original with nothing in, mm. like how different it looks. Again, you can see it's fuller. It's coming out here a little bit because that the petticoats are sitting a bit higher. And this is if you want that kind of princess ball gown yeah. look, you'll need to go for more hoops and more petticoats. And I'll put, I'll put a picture of the original one next to this one so you can really, I mean, you can see the difference, but I think when you see them close, next to each other, you can really see the difference. I love it. You do, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! I feel like a princess. But so there's all the different ones, isn't it? Yeah, and I think the interesting thing about underskirts, they are going to give you movement if you want to take the dress off your legs. Yes. And I think, yeah. you know, all, the rule of thumb is, more petticoats, more hoops, the bigger the skirt. And I think, you know, even if you don't want that fuller look, sometimes just one hoop's enough to take off, or just petticoats. Or if you want to go for two looks. Yeah, You true. know, you could have this and get married and feel like a princess, and then later on in the evening, just nip it off, and you've got a much more relaxed dress with only buying one dress. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed today. I think we're also going to show you Underskirts with tea length. We've got a couple of our brides asking about those. We thought it'd be a nice comparison for you. So uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. See you soon.